Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to St. George Parish in London, Ontario, Canada. I am Father Pedro Zuniga, Associate Pastor, and uh, we uh, are going to uh, continue in our, our pilgrimage uh, to Italy. In this uh, second video, we are uh, um, focusing uh, in uh, two images. The two persons who are the basis uh, of the foundation of the church uh, like, look like uh, Jesus was found uh, his church. And these persons are Peter and Paul. When you go to Rome, uh, maybe there is a lot of uh, uh, places, uh, monuments, uh, arts, and uh, many places where to go. And sometimes you uh, miss the, uh, so, so something about uh, these uh, two, per, uh, two persons. But uh, we, were, we, we are going to see uh, these uh, two places in, uh, in Rome where we can, uh, we can see and, uh, and pause for, and uh, make a a reflection about and they contemplate these two images. Wherever you go in Rome, you can see uh, pines, statues dedicated to St. Peter and St. Paul. And there are two characteristics. When you see a statue of a man uh, with uh, the keys in his hands, that is Peter. Because uh, Jesus told Peter, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And uh, when you see uh, the statue with, uh, with a man with uh, a sword, that means he is uh, St. Paul, which, mean, which is uh, because he said, let us fight with the sword of faith, the good uh, uh, fighting uh, of uh, salvation to, uh, of every man and women. So we will see this, uh, uh, to, um, these two persons and about uh, their, their history and the message that was uh, at, the, at the beginning, at the base uh, of uh, the foundation of the Catholic Church. So the first place where we will um, um, pause for a moment is uh, the uh, place where of the prison of uh, these apostles, Peter and Paul. And uh, there is a place called, called Mamertimum, which is uh, the place where uh, Peter and Paul were prisoned, because uh, uh, we will see how uh, uh, both of them uh, were uh, going to Rome in order to uh, because it was uh, uh, the uh, Rome uh, in, the, in, in their time uh, was the place of uh, the power, the political, uh, the economic power uh, in the first world in that time. So they were going to Rome and, and they were pre uh, uh, in prison in that, uh, in, the, in that time. And this is the Going inside this, uh, this place, uh, there, there is a place called uh, Tre Fontane, Three Fountains in Rome. Uh, it, this is the place uh, where um, St. Paul was beheaded. St. Paul was uh, um, uh, condemned so, to be crucified, but uh, when he was uh, crucified, he, was, he, he didn't die. So they decided to behead him. It was the only way to, uh, that, that he, he, they were uh, putting in practice this condemnation. So in this picture, you see uh, at your uh, left hand uh, um, a little building, and at your right hand, uh, there is the Abbey of uh, St. Paul, where uh, St. Paul was uh, beheaded. Inside these two places, at uh, your uh, right hand, uh, there is the place where uh, St. Paul was uh, imprisoned. And he was uh, there, not just uh, uh, like a, a man uh, staying in, the, in his place, but he was working. And uh, St. Paul, uh, the, his um, skills, 
part of his skills was uh, working uh, the, the skin uh, of animals. So he was preparing the skins of animals and, and, and sell them, and that's, that's, why, that's the, the way he, he could uh, live. Uh, and this, he was working. He was not only uh, preaching and uh, reading letters. He was also working and using his work uh, as a... Uh, uh, a way to maintain him, himself uh, and share with, uh, especially with uh, the Christian communities in that time. So let us see some uh, of the history of St. Paul. The uh, design you see there is uh, St. Paul is in the, in the, in the in St. Paul's Basilica outside the, outside the walls in Rome. So about the history of St. Paul. St. Paul began traveling and preaching and spent time in the desert preparing for his evangelical mission and where he received other revelations. He traveled with Barnabas on his first missionary journey to preach in Tarsus, Damascus, Antioch, and Cyprus. He then uh, went on to, on to preach uh, in Asia Minor, Europe, and Ephesus. Between his missions, he returned to Jerusalem four times. And uh, his fifth return to Jerusalem, Paul was arrested and held as, as a, a prisoner for two years in Caesarea. Paul claimed his right as a a Roman citizen to be tried in, the, in Rome. And in uh, the year uh, 60 AD, was sent to, to, by sea to Rome. In the journey, Paul was uh, shipwrecked and, uh, and uh, delayed and in the island of Malta. In Rome, uh, he was uh, released after two years and continued with his missions. He returned to Rome in 63-64 AD during the rule of uh, the Roman Imperial Nero. In 64 AD, Nero set fire to Rome and uh, blamed the Christians for its uh, destruction. Paul was one of the Christians who was taken prisoner and was sentenced to death by beheading. So this is from uh, some uh, aspects of his uh, the story of Paul. So as we see, as we see, we start to contemplate this uh, this place. Inside, it's it's just a uh, um, a meeting room inside uh, this place, where he was. Uh, you can see a corridor. He was uh, working there. Can you imagine that? He was uh, there working as uh, any work, any person is working uh, during the time of uh, his. Uh, he was he was in prison and he was there and waiting for uh, us the sentence. And then after that, one day uh, there came the, the soldiers, took him uh, aside and uh, to the other side in the. In a, in, a, um, in a little mountain, and then uh, they crucified him and then uh, beheaded him. And uh, this is uh, the place of uh, the abbey of uh, uh, St. Paul where he was beheaded. And this is called Three Fountains. I will, I, will, I will tell you about that after because I have a picture also. The message about uh, this time uh, he, when uh, St. Paul was in prison, he was written many, many letters and, and, one, uh, and, to, and written to the uh, Philippians, uh, he, he wrote, I want you to realize, brothers, that uh, the circumstances of my present life uh, are helping rather than uh, hindering the advance of the, of the gospel. He was always putting everything, uh, focusing uh, in the gospel. My chains in Christ uh, have become well known, not only to all the praetorium, uh, but uh, to everybody else. The praetorium was uh, the place uh, where uh, it's like uh, uh, the, the, the tribunal, the, the, where the judge were, uh, were talking about uh, uh, sentence and laws that they were, they were doing. And, and the praetorium was the place where where he was uh, condemned to, the, to death. 
And so most of uh, our brothers in the Lord uh, have gained confidence from my chains and are getting more and more daring in uh, announcing the message without any fear. You can imagine uh, in the time of, uh, of St. Paul there were also many uh, people who were, who were rich and they were uh, curious in listening to them, to Paul and Peter. And, when the, and that's why in Rome uh, there were many uh, places where, uh, who became uh, part of the property of the Catholic Church. And this is because uh, many of them uh, were listening and, uh, and, uh, and converted to the, to the Christianism. And so uh, this is because they saw this in, in men like, uh, in persons like, like Paul, uh, 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 the very apostles who were uh, focusing their life uh, in, uh, in the gospel, in, uh, in the announcement of the gospel. And this is one of the characteristics you can, you, you can see also in Rome. Because uh, wherever you go, you can, you can see uh, places uh, which uh, reminds to the gospel. So let us continue. So when uh, St. Paul was uh, beheaded, it's, it's the, the tradition says that uh, uh, in the place it was, it was a, a little mountain and uh, a little valley. And then uh, uh, when he was beheaded, his head uh, uh, jumped from three times in the, in, the, um, in, the, in the floor and moving down. And in every place where uh, uh, the head of St. Paul uh, jumped, there became, uh, they came out uh, uh, a fountain of water. And that's why uh, this, is, this place is called uh, the Tre Fontane, which means uh, three fountains, because uh, inside the, this abbey there you, you can see three altars where the, um, the head of, of, uh, of Paul was uh, jumping, and, uh, and you can, you can uh, and, and, and they, they say that, that there, 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 were, there became three fountains in there. There's not any water now. I don't know if, uh, if there is uh, still some water in that place, but what I can see is just, uh, what you can see is just the, these three altars. So this is, is the, the inside uh, of, uh, of the church. So let us uh, uh, conclude this uh, first part uh, by making a prayer to uh, these uh, two saints, Peter and Paul. And let us uh, make, a, uh, let us try to see in this uh, image of St. Paul, his, the place where he was, uh, his history, his history, uh, something that can help us to, um, to see the good news of the gospel even in the middle of sufferings so now let us pray O oh Lord of God Saints Peter and Paul were leaders who modeled and strengthened the faith of the church therefore I ask Saints Peter and Paul to pray for my faith to grow stronger and stronger every day I plead with uh, St. Peter and Paul to pray for me to become mature spiritually. Wherever I become a follower in my relationship with you, weak and uh, uncertain, help me, O oh Lord, to increase in faith and trust. L dear Lord, uh, enkindle your, your fire that uh, flickers inside me and, and let it become a big flame that brightens other people's lives. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for me. Amen. So now let us continue and let us go back because in the first uh, uh, video I made uh, we were visiting St. Uh, Peter's Basilica, but there are many, many, there are, there are hundreds of histories and uh, and details that you can see in these places. But let's, let us go back uh, to St. Peter Basilica. And uh, 
Let us um, try to um, make a connection between uh, uh, this place and, uh, the, and, and the history of uh, St. Peter. As uh, I told you the, the, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the first video, there is uh, uh, the, um, uh, down the, uh, the central place of, uh, inside the, the St. Peter Basilica, uh, there is the crypt. It's called the crypt. There were there are many tombs. So there is the tomb of uh, of uh, uh, um, Pope Saint uh, Paul VI uh, and many other popes. Does know there is there is also John Paul I's uh, tomb in this place, and uh, it, there was also beer uh, Saint John Paul II in this place, and then he was uh, translated to uh, the basilica in an altar, and uh, there is a, a place where, where you can go and, and make a moment of prayer, uh, making the visit to the, uh, to the basilica. So in the, the principal place of uh, this part is, the, is uh, the place of the tomb. Uh, Saint Peter was, uh, after he, he, he was uh, crucified and died on the cross, uh, he was buried in this place. Uh, it was a, a place where um, for collecting uh, for collecting garbage in that place in, in that time, and he was buried in, together with uh, with many 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 Christians who were martyred uh, martyred in that in that time, and uh, it was found uh, um, a little tomb with. Uh, uh, the scripture um, here lies uh, Peter, the apostle. And so that's the only, the only, um, um, uh, the only information we have from that time. And this is a place where you you, get, you, you can see the altar uh, in front of this uh, this, this system. And uh, I, I was celebrating mass here uh, to year when uh, I was visiting. I was making a, a pilgrimage uh, with uh, some of our parishioners, and uh, this is a very, a very particular place because uh, um, when bishops um, go to visit and make the uh, to meet the, uh, the, pope, uh, the pope, they used to come uh, first in this place and celebrate mass in front of uh, this uh, of the tomb of. Uh, St. Peter. So uh, let us uh, see some uh, uh, of the history of uh, St. Peter. Peter traveled to spread the gospel and was in Rome uh, in the 63-64 AD during the rule of the Roman Emperor Nero. In the 64 AD, Nero set fire to Rome and blamed the Christians to its uh, destruction. Peter was one of the Christians who uh, was uh, taken prisoner and was sentenced to death by crucifixion. St. Peter was crucified with uh, his head downwards because uh, he did not consider himself worthy to die in the same manner and uh, pastor of, uh, as uh, his uh, divine master. So at uh, the sepulcher of, uh, of uh, St. Peter, you can, you can see the signs uh, at the, in the two uh, pieces of marble, you can see at, uh, at the left uh, the cross uh, upside down, and the, and the other side at the, at the right uh, the chains he was, uh, he was uh, when, uh, of his time of uh, prison. So let us uh, contemplate this, mo this, uh, this, uh, this place. In the back of this place there is a, there is a little chapel, and you can go there just uh, with a special permission. I was there with uh, our parishioners here from St. George, and we were doing uh, our uh, moment of prayer there, and we did uh, uh, the proclamation of our faith uh, by saying the creed in the, just in front of the tomb of, uh, of uh, St. Peter. And these are, as, uh, you, as you know, these are the, the, the most important signs of uh, uh, the same of uh, St. Peter Basilica, St. Peter the statue, where is which in the place of uh, with uh, the liturgy put uh, the titular bishop of uh, that cathedral, and then uh, uh, there is the window with uh, the sign of uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, in uh, which is uh, a dove, 
and the Almeyer altar. You can see the columns of uh, the Bernini altar. The message that you can, uh, we can uh, um, take uh, from uh, this, uh, this moment of uh, uh, watching and reflecting about the figure of uh, St. Peter. He wrote this, My dear friends, do not be taken aback at the testing by fire which is taking place among you as though something strange were happening to you. But in so far as you share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad so that you may enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for bearing Christ's name, blessed are you, for on you rests in the spirit on you rests the, the spirit of God, the spirit of glory. None of you shall ever deserve to suffer for being a murdered, a thief, a criminal, or a for informer. But if any one of you should suffer for being a Christian, then uh, there must be no shame but thanksgiving to God for bearing this name. This is about uh, uh, the encouragement he was giving to all Christians, especially those who were condemned to die because uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of, um, of being uh, accused of being murdered, thief or criminal or an informer. That was uh, the reality of the first Christians in Rome. And now you can, you can, you can see how, how uh, big is this, uh, this. There are many places. Uh, St. Peter is, uh, is a figure that you can see wherever you go in Rome, and especially at St. Peter Square in St. Peter, uh, Peter Basilica. And this statue is, is uh, for Roman uh, people, it's a, it's a very important and uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, place where of devotion for them. They go and uh, ask St. Peter for protection, especially during this time of pandemic. And uh, this is the, the symbol of uh, the chair, the cathedra of, uh, of Peter, which means uh, that is uh, the central point of the, of, the, of the Catholic Church even today. And so we conclude uh, uh, this uh, video by making a, a prayer again to, say, to these saints, Peter and Paul. And let us ask that we can uh, uh, continue in uh, belonging to the Catholic Church uh, and, uh, and, and seeing in, in, in the Catholic Church the presence of the Holy Spirit and being ready also to proclaim the gospel like uh, Peter and Paul did. So let us pray to conclude uh, this uh, second video. Blessed Redeemer, Saints Peter and Paul were leaders and models in strengthening the faith of the early church. And I ask them uh, to pray for my faith to grow strong. Saint Paul wrote in the, his second letter to Saint Timothy, I remind you to steer into a flame of, of the gift of God that you have. Wherever I am still a baby in my relationship with you, weak and uncertain, I ask St. Peter and St. Paul to pray for me to grow into spiritual maturity. Help me, O oh Lord, to increase in faith and trust. Where your presence is, is but a spark in me, Fang it into the flame that, that uh, brightens other people's lives. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for me. Amen. So there are many other things we can, uh, we can see in Rome, but uh, in these uh, two videos we were, in the first two videos we were visiting Rome, there are many other things. Maybe in the future we can make a, a video with uh, other places, like uh, visiting uh, the places, many other sanctuaries and churches where, uh, for example, the, there are many, uh, many there are popes uh, buried in, the, in many churches, many saints like Ignatius, uh, Saint Lucius uh, of Gonzaga, and uh, Saint Agatha, Saint uh, Saint Perpetua, Saint. Uh, 
uh, those are the, the names that I, I uh, that come to my mind in this moment. But we we can we can see that in in in, in the future. But uh, in, after these uh, two videos, we will leave uh, Rome, and uh, the, in the third video, we will visit some uh, uh, saints uh, all over the country and see uh, uh, what devotion there is, in, especially for the Italian people and uh, people from all, all over the world to these saints. So uh, by now, we uh, conclude this video. Thank you for uh, watching us, and may God bless you all.